Our mission, transform pork rinds into some fun meals that everyone will love. Are you ready for the challenge? I know I am. And today I am going to show you three different ways that you can use pork rinds in your life because let's face it, sometimes eating it out of the bag is a little bit boring. Ooh, pork rinds, aren't they super high in fat? Move over, dietitian Shelly. Wait. I'm a dietitian too. Move over old school dietitian Shelly. Pork rinds have about five grams of fat and your precious bag of Doritos has a lot more fat than pork rinds. Now the most important thing I'm gonna tell you when picking a bag of pork rinds is that you make sure that the ingredient on there is just the pork rind itself. We don't want any MSG. We don't want any of that kind of garbage because that is exactly where you can mess up. With pork rinds, there are a couple different things that you can do. Of course, number one, you can just eat them right out of the bag. One of my favorite and easiest ways to have pork rinds though is we definitely can replace them with tortilla chips or any other high carb chip and have them with our salsa. Now this is a hit for me and my husband on our date nights and you all know if you've seen my Instagram where we kind of have our date nights in pajama bottoms because we're cool like that. Number two, use pork rinds as a breading. Now this confuses a lot of us because what happens is, is I will get a phone call to our clinic and folks will say, well, I used pork rind as a breading, but it was funky. It kind of got liquidy. We have to remember that there is a proper dredging process. What did she just say? Dredging, you heard right. Dredging is a culinary technique used to coat a wet ingredient with a dry ingredient before cooking. For instance, sometimes we dredge meats with flour before sauteing to enhance browning and to create a crispier texture on the outside. Thank you, Professor Shelley. Pretty much dredging is the breading that we use in frying and particularly in our air fryer. It is a bit of a trick. It is a three-step process and pork rinds is the last step in the process. We would take our almond flour, we would take our egg and then our crushed pork rind and we dunk the food first in the almond flour, then in the egg, then in the pork rind mixture. That allows it to get that crispy crunch. Now our final way I love to have pork rinds is sweet. I know it, it sounds absolutely insane, but you are going to love this recipe and it's four ingredients. We have our pork rinds. Now we use about three ounces, which is going to be the bag. And please remember gang to buy plain pork rinds. Don't get barbecue because then the recipe will really turn out quite awkward as my daughter likes to say. So we have it in our bowl. We have to add sweetness, our cinnamon and our swerve. We are going to use uh, two tablespoons of swerve and a tablespoon of our cinnamon. I'm having a problem getting this off here. Now, could you use more swerve? Absolutely. I know swerve is erythritol. It's one of my favorite uh, sweeteners that we can use. Not only does it taste great, I feel like it doesn't leave that weird aftertaste, but these folks are from New Orleans and y'all know I'm from Louisiana. Throw me something to stop. So two tablespoons. Now I'm going to have some folks say, well, can I use more? Absolutely. Gang, y'all have to remember that I personally don't have the biggest sweet tooth. I don't like things overly sweet. Some folks do. Yeah, I'll have to remember I'm from the day of where folks would use those icky pink and blue packets and bring in maybe, you know, some cookies for me to try and it would just attack me. Like, I don't know if I cussed and my grandma throw a shoe at me, you know, or ugh, it's just super, super gross. We already melted our butter. We use a third of a cup. We're going to be very careful how we pour this because again, we don't want to soften the pork rind itself. So I'm going to go really light. Uh, I kind of just sprinkle it all over and I'm going to stir this first. Oh, it's kind of like that Rice Krispie sound, you know, those three little kind of bratty kids. Stir it, make sure it's well coated. And now this is where I'm going to take my cinnamon and sugar blend. And I'm not a chef. I wish I could do that. You know, those are for fancy food bloggers, if you know what I mean, boo boo. And we're just going to sprinkle this, let the butter absorb it. We're going to have an amazing kind of sweet style snack. And then I'm going to give it a little stir. 
So that, because every pork rind needs a little coating, not just one. Give it another, a little bit more. Love that this recipe is a no-bake recipe. We don't have to heat up the house. We can make these if we're doing a movie night, if we're doing a Hallmark movie night. I love those cheesy Hallmark movies. Or a Golden Girls night, love that. I know I'm about to probably get a hate comment down below because you're talking too much. Just get to the recipe, girl. No, no, I'm not. I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna talk. Y'all let me know in the, in the comments if y'all love to hear me talk. I'm gonna try one of these bad boys and let's see if we accomplished our mission. Mission accomplished, gang. That is so good. Put this on your list to make right now. And if you forgot the recipe or if you were too busy laughing at everything when I was saying, scroll in the description box below. I have it there. While you're down there, I want you to subscribe to my channel. It would make my little heart so happy and fill with joy. And plus you can download our seven day keto menu. If you have any other uses for pork rinds, be sure to share because I want to have this as an awesome community. I love you all. Take care. Mwah.